welcome back to another video. Today is Friday for me. I think you're gonna see this on a Thursday, but that just means that tomorrow is Friday. So yeah, welcome back to Friday. This has been kind of a crazy week for me, <laughs> a very crazy week. So I just like every day that I planned on vlogging and things that I planned to happen, they just didn't happen. So I'm trying to play catch up here. Um, but welcome back. My name's Erica. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by, clicking on this video. I am. I have one big goal today, and that is to get my ottoman recovered, made over, whatever. But I just don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Like, I still don't know <laughs> how I'm going to do it, and I'll show you what I mean. But if you um, saw a video, a couple videos back, I picked up an ottoman at Goodwill for $15, and it's bright maroon corduroy not at all what I want I'm not at all my style but it's so soft and comfy and it's the perfect size so I'm gonna be making it over there is what it looks like it's got a blanket over it right now but it's perfect for this couch and I'm also picking up a chair I got off market well I'm buying it tomorrow off marketplace I'm hopefully picking it up I had another one I was supposed to get a couple weeks ago and the lady just sold it out from under me she told me I could have it and then someone Ven Venmoed her the money and she's like oh it's theirs so I just thought I took it as that one wasn't the one for me. So I'm getting another one. Hopefully it, everything works out. And so when I get the chair, like oh, my idea is to put the ottoman like in front of the chair and have it replace my recliner over here. You know, I've been talking about that forever. Hopefully this one will, will work and look good. I think it will. I think it will look good. But today I really want to get this ottoman covered. I have been editing. I had a video that is going up tomorrow. And every now and then I'll make a video and I don't realize that I'm, I've am i got so much footage and I had like over two and a half hours of footage that I had to condense down to like a little under an hour. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it above, but it was, it's just like it, sometimes when you have that much footage, it's like, it could be like six to eight hours of editing. So I edited about four hours last night and about four hours this morning and it is uploading and I'm so glad to have that done because... I kind of have a lot of plans today and I didn't want to be stuck editing because I always have a video up on Saturdays and I knew I'd be editing tonight if I didn't get it done. So I got that done and now I'm going to focus on the ottoman. So I personally love the greens and blues and grays, those kind of cool tones. Um, and my walls are sea salt, Sherwin-Williams sea salt, and I love them. Like I'm not repainting my walls at all. I love the green and it kind of looks gray in some light and it kind of looks blue in some light. So I got the new sectional and so I wanted to find, I, I'm really loving the gray and the green pillows with it. So it's really drawing in like the green from the walls. And so when I went and looked at fabric, I looked at all, all different kinds. I looked at like beige. Um, some had like, like really subtle patterns in them. There was some, some that had gray and beige, some that had green and blues. And I, so yeah. I, I didn't, it was a lot to choose from, but I settled on a green fabric and I gotta admit when I was in Hobby Lobby, first of all, I got an amazing deal on it because Joanne, the fabric I liked was $50 a yard on sale for $35 a yard and I need like a yard and a half. So I went to Hobby Lobby. This fabric I bought was only $13.99 a yard, but it was on sale 40% off. So I got two yards for less than $17. And it's actually more than two yards because they were already two pieces cut and they were bigger than a yard each, but she just gave them both to me. So if I have enough, I could even make like a pillow or something. But um, when I was in the store, this fabric did look a lot, I guess, lighter, more neutral than it does in my house for some reason. And I've changed all my bulbs to the daylight bulbs. So I don't know. I just don't have enough like natural light in my house. I don't have enough windows to make, you know, I don't know, things just look a little darker. So when I got it home, I was kind of surprised at how green it is, but I still love it and it still matches and I'm still gonna use it. So I think it will blend nicely. So this is the fabric I picked and you can see how it like matches the green and then the green walls. So definitely matches. It is just a little darker than I thought it was. Definitely when in the store it was lighter, but I had to get, you know, something that's like a, a heavier weight because it's gonna be on the ottoman where we'll put our feet and you know it'll get a lot of wear and tear so i'm not a master seamstress or anything so this is just going to be a simple stitch like straight lines i'm not going to do any kind of fancy edging or ruffles or pleats or anything like that it's just going to be simple um there is one thing i haven't decided on i have to decide though because i'm making it now so i need to decide what i'm going to do but i'm going to show you the ottoman in case you didn't see it before so it's this maroon corduroy obviously like would have looked 
fantastic in the 80s <laughs> or the 90s but definitely not my style so I just covered it with this blanket but it's got like this edging around it so I'm just going to sew just straight lines you know just it's not going to have this edging on it but just something that I can cover the the red with and then this is what I haven't decided so I can either like make a cover that goes all the way to the ground and or I could do something with like pleats along the bottom which I, I would like I just don't know that fabric is really stiff so I'm not sure and then it has these legs on it so my other option is I could make the fabric just come to here you know and then paint the legs paint them white or something so that's what I have to decide if I want it to be like that or if I just want it to go all the way to the ground so I'm not really sure and also these legs I'm probably going to paint at some point so I could paint them to match these legs, you know? So I have to figure that out. This is one option and then I would probably paint the legs like a creamy creamy white creamy off-white because I want to probably paint the legs of the couch the same so that's a little bit more of a I don't know like a formal look I guess the other one see the couch has you know a space too so with the legs I think it looks good with it but ugh, I don't know and then this is the other option I think what I decided I'm going to do is kind of in between both of them. I'm going to have it not come up quite as high as the other one, but um, there's going to be some of the legs showing. And then I'll paint them like a creamy white or off-white or an ivory or something. I'll just pick up like some chalk paint. But I think, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Hopefully I won't regret it. But the fabric has this natural hem, you know, edge around it. So I'm actually going to use this as the edge along the bottom. I think it's really cute. I think it, that it gives it like a little bit of texture and, you know, decoration. I actually really like it. I know it's not meant for that, but I actually like it. So I'm just going to cut them to where that will be along the bottom edge. So that's what it looks like. I took all that off and I took the bottom thing off too because the cats had already started to pull it or else it was like that when we got it. But this way they can still go under it and they won't be pulling that, you know, that bottom thing off. But that's what it, it kind of shows me what it looks like. I think I'm still going to go with, like I said, just make it a little bit longer, not all the way to the floor. Belle, do you like the fabric? Every time I lay that fabric up, she out, she lays on it. So I'm just going to cut like four strips to go along the sides and then one piece here and then I'll just you know sew around it and then down the sides it should be pretty simple as long as my sewing machine doesn't mess up
I got all the strips sewn across in the top, connected to the top, and then I just need to go back in. I did this one, I sewed this one side, but I'm just gonna do all the sides, and then I'm gonna trim off some of this extra, and then it's done. Pretty simple, and so far, so good. My sewing machine, I don't know why, but it's, it's been perfect. I guess just because I prayed. <laughs> I guess it's only, only thing I can say is it's God. So anyway, I'm just gonna sew up these sides and then I'm finished. Moment of truth, gonna see if it fits. I went ahead and trimmed it. I tried the corners, I'm not great at corners. Like I said, I'm not a professional. That corner looks pretty good <laughs> and that corner looks pretty good but this corner does not that's gonna drive me crazy but I think the other three are pretty good corners are hard but I love the little fringe on the bottom I'm glad I decided to keep that for sure and I'm gonna paint those legs too but I need to get the paint but it looks pretty good I'm pretty pleased with myself and I actually really love this color I just need to fix that. <laughs> All right, I tried to fix it. Didn't really totally fix it. I need like a, I need like my sister-in-law. She's the best seamstress, um, but it's good. It's totally fine and I'm happy with it. And it's a sturdy fabric, so it should hold up to us putting our feet on it, the animals, and like I said, I can wash it. So I'm very happy with that. So I do have a bunch of fabric left over, so I can actually make a pillow if I want to put on the couch or on my new chair. I don't know, but I have a lot, so that's awesome so the total for the ottoman with the fabric and the ottoman price was like $32 that's pretty sweet so it is Friday like I said and we have a couple options for what we're gonna be doing tonight I don't know which one Jackson's gonna choose but our pool that we like to go to in the summer they they're only open I think it might still be open on weekends only but tonight they're doing like a special, it's called a dive-in movie, and they're playing a movie. They're playing the movie Luca, which we don't want to see, but we would only go to swim, to do night swimming. So it's night swimming until 9.45, and they're going to have like food trucks and a movie playing, and you can swim. So it sounds super fun, Jack, and actually it was $5, but there's some company that sponsored it, so it's like totally free. The food trucks are not, but swimming is free. Um, that does mean that there's probably going to be a ton of people. I know on the Facebook page, it was like 150 people have already said they're going. So, and that's like 150 families. So it's probably going to be super packed. So, but I told Jackson if he wants to go, he said he did. But then he's been fighting a really bad cold all week. So he didn't know this morning. 
but there's also the Jurassic World movie that he just loves. Um, he's seen it like four times, but it's just moved. It just came to our discount theater where it's like three bucks. So I told him if he wants to see that instead, we could do that. So whatever he decides is what we're going to do. But I got my video already finished so that I don't have to worry about that tonight. So I could just enjoy some time with him. If we go to the um, movies, we'll get like food from a food truck. And if, I mean, if we go to the pool, if we go to the movies, I don't know, we'll figure something out. But it's almost four. The movie starts at 6.30 and I think the pool opens at 6.30 too. So it's like 6.30 till 9.45, but the movie starts at 8. So I guess we have to decide. Also, Clyde is loving his new perch. The other cats have not gotten up here, but he loves it. So sometimes they do. They, they don't get up here a lot, but he definitely loves it. Don't you, baby? Don't you, Clyde? Is that your favorite bird watching spot? Yeah. All right, so Jackson decided he wants to go to the pool, so we're gonna we're getting ready to go. Got my bathing suit on. It is about 5:45, and it starts at 6:30, but they said they're only letting 400 people in. I was gonna wait and go a little bit later, but I'd rather get there early, make sure that we can get in, and I need to run to the bank and get some cash because they have food trucks. So that's what we'll be eating for dinner. I'm so hungry. So. We are gonna head out now. Hopefully it'll be fun. It's nice and hot day today. So I know once the sun sets, it will be cooler, but it is really hot. So I think it'll be great. Kona ice of the night. <laughs> it's kind of freezing, but so fun. I think we're going to leave a little bit early. We're not going to stay home. All right, we're back home now. It's actually bedtime. It is past bedtime. Totally forgot that I needed to end the vlog, but I've got pool hair, but it is what it is. But we had a great time at the pool. That was so fun to just go back for one last time and then to do some night swimming. And it, believe it or not, it was like cold outside, but the water was warm. So we were cold every time we got out of the water. But we didn't stay for the whole movie, only like 30 minutes of it. And But it was so fun just, you know, being back at the pool, pretending like it was summer again. We got a pizza and Jackson had two slushies and it was just a lot of fun so hopefully this video wasn't too boring just the ottoman and you know we went out tonight i was gonna do some more things but i just didn't have time i did get my video edited though and it is gonna go up tomorrow so that's a good 
but that's definitely a big thing that I wanted to get done. And then I'll be vlogging all weekend, so make sure that you come back and watch that one. Hopefully we're gonna pick up my chair tomorrow and just a lot of other things I need to do this weekend, so we'll see. But make sure you come back for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, all those things. You know I love you and I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.